you know, I've done a few stories on these spotted lantern flies, and they are doing a lot of damage, a lot of damage, not only to plants, but trees as well. And they're going to continue to be a nuisance because they have no natural predator to kind of balance things out. So right now they are destroying everything in sight and it's getting, it's becoming a bigger and bigger problem, especially here in the Northeast and parts of the Midwest. So this came out in the Daily Mail, October 3rd. 2019 plant destroying lantern flies native to china could spread across the uk us and europe and devour crops and trees studies warn so this is what it looks like on the map you can see the us and that's because there's a lot of imports coming here from china and they said a lot of the eggs are hitching a ride on those containers and you can see it, it's also bad in Europe. It's spreading more and more. Surprise, very little of it in Africa. And then you can see South America, Australia. Hmm, interesting. Then again, they got so many different varieties of bugs in Africa. I bet you Africa got some kind of predator for it. Plant destroying spotted lantern flies are spreading around the globe. A study has warned the insects, which are native to China, are a pest to dozens of plants and trees. They can trigger sap leakage, wilting leaf curling, and dieback. And the U.S. government tells people to kill them on spot. Yeah, they, you know, they've been saying that on the news here. Oh, kill them on spot. If you see them, kill them. But you can't. They're so, there's probably millions of them. You know, we could never kill them all. So people are out there jumping on them and quashing them and everything. But that's not, that's not making any impact at all. A map drawn up by the Department of Agriculture has revealed regions where the bugs are at risk of spreading to the next. The UK has been a designated uh, medium risk area along with much of Eastern Europe, while the Eastern US and California are deemed to be uh, high risk. Along parts of France, Portugal, Italy, um, Italy uh, Russia, and Ukraine. Hmm. Okay, so the U.S. Department of Agriculture created a map showing which regions are high. Yeah, okay, so we saw the maps. And here is the spotted lanternfly. That thing is very destructive. As well as damaging garden plants, the lanternflies can ruin farmer crops two such as almonds apples blueberries cherries peaches grapes and hops they also wreck hardwood trees including oaks walnuts and poplars man that's all we got here in new jersey <laughs> we ain't gonna have no trees that's seriously those are the trees we have in my state oak walnuts and poplar yeah we got them all over the place Wow, man, if these things keep spreading, I guess we're going to be a state without trees. <laughs> Only trees. <laughs> Those are probably the primary trees we have here. In addition, and in addition to causing physical damage, they excrete a sugary substance called honeydew, which encourage a mold, which is harmful to plants, lantern flies, which can lay 30 to 50 eggs each time they breed in the autumn, have already become a problem in some parts of the U.S. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Virginia, Delaware, all have reported growing numbers of the critters. Mm -hmm. 
The Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture tells residents on its site, kill it, squish it, smash it, just uh, get rid of it. In the fall, these bugs will lay masses with 50, uh, 30 to 50 eggs each. And if you're talking about millions of them each laying that amount, oh my God, you're going to have quadruple. I mean, just thinking about it, you're going to quadruple that number in a snap. Oh, this is creepy. Mm-mm-mm. It's a shame it's no low birth rate among these bugs. Damn shame. These are called bad bugs for a reason. Don't let them take over your county. Next. A full-grown spotted lantern measures approximately one inch long and a half inch wide without the wings extended. So you can see where they are. You can see the red, yellow, and green areas. The red has the highest concentration of them. And as you can see, my state is completely red. They are everywhere. They are a combination of colors with black and yellow on their bodies and gray, black, brown, and red wings. An important factor in predicting where the spotted lantern flies might appear next was measured um, of the average temperature. Yeah, so I can understand. So they're saying places where the driest quarter of the year that had temperatures that range between 19 degrees and 45 degrees Fahrenheit are best suited to the bugs. Well, no wonder why they're surviving in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. We have we have those kind of temperatures especially in the winter. You know? So if those are the temperatures where they thrive, then yeah, I mean, they're probably going to always be in the northeast. Definitely. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, those of you that don't have this problem yet, you're very fortunate, but I don't think that's going to last long. I, it's just going to be only a matter of time before they are nationwide. You know, we may not be there yet, but we're definitely getting there. You know, you notice all of these predatory bugs are coming out of China. You know, you got the stink bug and I mean, every bug they got is just a nuisance. You know, their bugs are a nuisance. I would hate to see what else is floating over here on them damn containers. For real. It just seems like every single one that comes here it becomes problematic. You know, a lot of people around here are now complaining about the stink bugs getting in their house. You know, and this is the time of the year they usually come in when the weather is changing, the fall weather, and the nights are getting cold, so they don't like the cold. That's why they try to come in your house and stay there, excuse me, stay there until the spring, and then they make their way out of your house. Now, one thing about stink bugs, they don't mate in your house. In order for them to mate, they got to be outdoors, you know? So the ones that come in your house, they are not going to have stink bug babies in your house. You know, they are just waiting to go out once the winter is done. They generally lay their eggs on leaves. You know, I had to learn about them too because a few got in here and I was concerned. I was like, I don't want them, you know, hatching their eggs in here. And I found out they don't do that indoors. You know, they're just simply looking for a place to stay warm for the winter. That's it. So... I sure hope you don't see these anytime soon, wherever you are in the country. I hope you don't see them anytime soon. Wow. And like I said, with no natural predator here in the U.S. that can get them, they can pretty much explode all they want. And there's nothing that is being done to stop them. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. 
Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.